slide. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to TV5 News Live for Thursday, November 15th. I'm Susan Honorad. And I'm Carrie LaPoo, in for Pat Grace. Here's a look at some of the stories we'll be bringing you this evening. We'll have the latest news from Afghanistan. A local school district extended the contract of its superintendent. And later we'll tell you why there has been a delay with the official election results from last Tuesday. We'll have all those stories plus more coming up in the next half hour. In Afghanistan today, Northern Alliance fighters claim to have captured the city of Jalalabad. However, journalists who were taken there said a local council of Pashtun tribal leaders had formed a council to run the city. Meanwhile, opposition and Taliban forces are waging a fierce battle for control of the Taliban stronghold, Kandahar. There are conflicting reports of who's in control of that city. Fighting was mostly confined to Bagalan between Kunduz and Kabul, and Kandahar in the south. In the north, Taliban forces are trying to keep Kunduz from falling into the opposition. The city is the last Taliban stronghold in the northern part of Afghanistan. The Pentagon says as much as 60% of Afghanistan is under some form of opposition control. Meanwhile, more military progress was reported Thursday for coalition forces in Afghanistan. Reports from the region indicate Taliban troops continue to give up ground to Northern Alliance and Pashtun forces. Skip Lozer has the latest from Washington. Pakistan is sending troops to help seal off its border with Afghanistan. The idea is to keep Osama bin Laden and his men from escaping to Pakistan. Fighting is fierce in several places in Afghanistan. There continue to be signs that Taliban troops are losing more ground, that Al-Qaeda soldiers are heading for cover in the mountains. The Pentagon says some of their leaders were killed by American-led airstrikes, but have no evidence that Osama bin Laden was among them. The push now is to find him. There is much fighting that remains to be done uh, until we achieve the victory that we want. The Taliban spiritual leader predicts that, God willing, the destruction of America will happen soon. And intelligence sources say a new chapter in bin Laden's terror handbook indicates al-Qaeda no and Homeland Security Director Tom Rich says American military actions in Afghanistan may prompt another terror attack on the U.S. It makes a great deal of common sense to conclude that if you are putting pressure on your enemy in, in one area or one venue, they may choose to act out in a, in a uh, separate area in a different venue. What a day for Americans Heather Mercer, Dana Curry, and six other international aid workers freed yesterday after being held for three months by the Taliban. Love you. We're glad we're free. Not now. Hi. How do you, uh, what's your feeling? Great. <laughs> we're so wonderful. We're so excited yeah. that we're free. They'll spend Thanksgiving with their families in Germany where their aid group is headquartered. Pashtun tribal leaders are now calling on the Taliban to stop the fighting and be willing to engage in a new coalition government. In Washington, I'm Skip Losher. Back to you. The Federal Aviation Administration is expected to announce inspections of all Airbus jets, like the one that crashed on Monday. into a neighborhood certain how long the inspections will take but the Airbus 300 fleet will probably not be grounded. Clarion County 911 employees are going to see an, an, an increase in their work shifts. Last week the Clarion County Salary Board approved increasing the work shifts from 8 to 12 hours. Officials also said the new work shifts made it easier to schedule 911 employees than with 8 hour work shifts. The salary board also increased the pay rate for the, the employees. Once new dispatchers complete training and become certified, they will earn $9.02 per hour. The Clarion Area School District won't be looking for a new superintendent anytime soon. The school board voted 8 to nothing yesterday to approve a new five-year contract for William Kaufman. The new contract will run from September 1, 2002 to August 31, 2007. The base salary for Kaufman was set at $86,000 for the 2001-2002 school year. The Education Department released high school graduation rates today. The report indicates the percentage of students who graduated high school was inched up in the past three years. 
Here in Pennsylvania, 89% of high school students graduated from 1998 to 2000. That is slightly below the national average of 90%. The highest rates are in Maine, where nearly 95% graduated. However, Arizona had the lowest graduation rate at nearly 74%. Two people were killed when two freight trains collided on a Grand Trunk track causing a derailment and fire in Springfield Township, Michigan, earlier today. Residents in a half mile of the accident were evacuated due to a leak of unknown chemicals. Classes were canceled in the Clarkstown School District until authorities find out what was on the train. Stay with us. TV5 News Live has more to come. Residents are still waiting for the official election results to come out. We'll tell you what the delay is. And local game hunters may want to dress warmer this season. We'll tell you why after the break. But first, we want to hear from you. It's your turn, the residents of Clarion, to voice your opinion. Call or write us here at TV5 and tell us what you want to hear on our newscast or if you have any other comments regarding Clarion's very own TV5. TV5 News Turkey Fact of the Day. Did you know during the year 2001, there were 270 million turkeys raised in the United States. The turkeys produced weigh 7 billion pounds altogether and are valued at $2.8 billion. TV5 News Live will continue in just a moment. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Fox's Pizza Den. Fox's Pizza Den is located on Old Route 66 in Clarion and offers all-day delivery. Phone 226-5555. That's 226-5555. Fox's Pizza Den is open seven days a week for your convenience. Phone 226-5555. Wardrobe for some TV5 news anchors, provided by Fashion Bug, located in the Clarion Mall. Whether you're looking for junior trendy, girls, or fashion for women, they have it all, with many different styles. Fashion Bug also offers wide selection of accessories. Fashion Bug is located in the Clarion Mall, just off of Exit 9 of Interstate 80. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m., and Sunday from noon till 5. This portion of the program was made possible through a grant from Clarion Hospital. Clarion Hospital is located off of Exit 9 of Interstate 80. Clarion Hospital offers outpatient services, transitional care, as well as an emergency room open around the clock every day of the year. More than 400 employees and 80 physicians work to serve the community. Call the Clarion Hospital at 226-9500. Clarion Hospital, providing health care to Clarion County and surrounding communities since 1954. Do you want complete coverage of local, state, national, and international news as it happens? Good evening, everyone, and welcome to TV5 News Live. Today, tune in to Clarion's very own TV5 News Live for complete coverage of the Clarion area and all world. TV5 News crews join with crews from the world's news leader, CNN, to provide complete coverage of the day's events. With advanced satellite capabilities, TV5 News can bring you the latest news as it happens. So tune in every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings for Clarion's very own TV5 News Live. This is TV5 News Live. Welcome back. A ballot mix-up has held up the official election results for Clarion County. According to county officials, election workers in Salem Township gave 25 voters sample ballots. After the mistake was noticed, the workers attempted to contact the 25 voters and have them re-vote. They were successful in noting, notifying 15 of the residents, but that still left 10 votes unaccounted. The 10 voters will receive what are similar to absentee ballots in the mail that are to re be returned to the county within a certain time period. If you are one of the many local game hunters in Clarion, you may want to listen up. The Pennsylvania Game Commission has announced an immediate ban on all open fires on all 1.2 million acres of game lands across the Commonwealth. There have been more than 250 wildfires across the state since midsummer. This has led the State Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Bureau of Forestry to set the fire index rating at very high or extreme. 
With the Thanksgiving holiday, one of the busiest travel periods of the year, the American people are looking for reassurance before taking to the air. Today, United Airlines announced it will be installing stun guns in the cockpits of all its planes. The advanced taser stun guns will be kept in electronically controlled lock boxes, enabling pilots to fend off potential hijackers. Pilots will be trained on how to use the devices. In another step towards increased security, flight attendants will receive new training aimed at both self-protection and assisting passengers. Meanwhile, Homeland Security Director Tom Ridge had a few words to say on the compromise lawmakers in Washington reached today on the aviation security bill. By that, uh, uh, the fact that they've reached an agreement, I know that it's something that uh, the president, uh, we've had several conversations about. I mean, the president is very much engaged in what's going on in Afghanistan, but I, he is very much engaged in what's going on uh, in this battlefront as well. Uh, and uh, that'll be good news uh, received by all of us. Ridge has said the American people should feel com confident, excuse me, in air travel. Stay with us, TV5 News Live has more to come. Coming up after the break, Harry Potter hits theaters tomorrow, and the director shares a little insight into the film. The world of fashion hits prime time tonight. We'll have a preview of the Victoria's Secret fashion show after the break. But first, here's a look at tonight's winning lottery number. September 11, 2001 tragedy was not only the tragedy of one nation, it was a tragedy for the entire human race. And if the perpetrators were uh, Arabs or Muslims, um, we should not blame this on Islam or the entire Islamic uh, faith. We should try to avoid these uh, epithets uh, because they have got serious consequences for uh, innocent people. Uh, it is very necessary uh, for us to uh, de detach the individual acts from their faith and from their ethnicity. Nearly half of today's military are National Guard and reservists. However, they can't answer our nation's call without their employer's support. If you're an employer, visit ESGR.org and find out how to do your part. After all, their response depends on yours. Welcome back. One of this year's most eagerly awaited films, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, opens nationwide tomorrow. The movie, based on the popular children's novel, is casting a spell on moviegoers both young and old. This morning, the show's director, Chris Columbus, talked about the movie and one of his favorite scenes in it. 
the chess ma uh, match for me is uh, probably the, my most favorite scene in the, in the film because it, it brings together all of the themes of the book. Uh, you know, bravery, courage, loyalty, and sacrifice. And Ron Weasley, in this particular scene, that's Ron right there, has to sacrifice himself uh, so his friends can move forward to actually save the school. So this really uh, is about good overcoming evil, and this sequence sets all of that up. Let me start. If you have a young son or daughter interested in seeing the Potter movie in Distinta Theaters in Clarion, we'll be showing the new film. Starting tomorrow at 10 a.m., the movie theater will have 14 showings of the film. For exact times, call the Distinta Showtime hotline at 227-2115. If you have youngsters in the house who love video games, you may want to turn off the TV. Microsoft formally entered the video game wars today. The company's Xbox, Xbox game is hitting stores with many opening in the middle of the night for anxious customers. Xbox goers head to head with so Sony's PlayStation 2 and Nintendo's GameCube. Retailers are hoping the Xbox will help fuel holiday sales. This year's Victoria's Secret fashion show, always one of the hottest tickets in town, was pushed back from spring to fall. After being taped on Tuesday, the show airs for the first time on network TV tonight. It is seen as a morale booster for New York's fashion industry, which had to cancel this fall shows coming following September 11th. Bill Tush was there. <laughs> The hottest ticket in town Tuesday night was a secret, Victoria's Secret. The famous lingerie maker pitched their tent in New York's Bryant Park to kick off the holiday season with a show they called Christmas Dreams and Fantasies. Twenty-five of the modeling world's most beautiful walk their walk. How do you get this job? I begged and begged on my little knees to please can you put me in the same show as all these 25 beautiful girls. Rhea Durham and the other ladies will be getting a lot more exposure this time out. For the first time, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show will be on network TV. ABC taped the event for a prime time special. I think it's going to be a real surprise to the viewer. And probably a ratings getter for ABC. We hope it's a ratings getter. Did you you get this, what, are you, what are you looking at? What no, 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 no. <laughs> That's nothing. In addition to that network, a few other members of the press were given dressing room access to ask the beauties those probing questions. Do you have a bad habit you'd like to break? Or is there a bad I'm a chocolate. Chocolate? Uh, I like it. Uh, I'm never going to run yet. Okay. We're, the, we're the rude TV guy. The rude. The rude, the rude TV guy. The rude. Yeah. Well, we are. Look at it. Look how rude we are. Well, hey, we're all here for you guys. Cover girl Ava Hertzkova will be joined in the show by Rupert Everett, the show's host, and entertainment by Andre Bocelli and Mary J. Blige. After all, a one-hour special just can't be models in underwear. Did I say that? If we get you in a bra and panties, I think you get a lot more attention. What do you think about when you walk down the runway and everybody's watching? I just try not to think about anything, just as that I'm by myself. Tyra Banks has been part of the show and a staple of the catalog almost from the beginning. Am I the queen? You are the queen. Am I the Aretha? <laughs> Victoria's Secret? <laughs> the Aretha Franklin of Victoria's Secret. Now, if you are a network that may worry about sagging ratings, a Victoria's Secret fashion show could be the thing to give them a boost. Bill Tush, CNN Entertainment News, New York. It was rather warm today despite the clouds. Chris Portman now joins us with a look at the TV5's Weather Center forecast. Chris? Thanks for joining in. What a beautiful day it was today in Clarion and throughout most of western Pennsylvania. It seemed more like springtime than it did November. But what's the weekend have in store for us? Let's take a look at our satellite image today. Currently, you can see a band of clouds right in this area. It's moved through our area, and it is, has a, it's a low-pressure system, so it brought the cooler temperatures earlier in the week. Taking a look in the west, you can see in Texas this band of clouds here 
there, this band of clouds is causing severe thunderstorms, and in some cases, there were tornado clouds spotted throughout Texas today. Taking a look at our frontal systems, you can see a front right here. This front right here is responsible for the lowering in temperatures tomorrow, but it's followed by a high-pressure system here, and then in the west, another high-pressure system that'll move through our area, and it's going to increase temperatures by Saturday. We'll see highs in the upper 50s, lower 60s on Saturday. What does the rest of the nation look like on Friday? Well, New York, you can see it's partly cloudy skies in Washington, D.C., partly cloudy skies. Taking a look in the west, in Denver, 67, and then those rain showers in San Francisco, 63 degrees with rain showers. That's because of a low-pressure system kind of sitting in that area. What does tonight have in store then? Recapping our weather tonight, you can see lows in the 40s and partly cloudy skies. Hopefully, we won't have to fr uh, scrape any frost off of our windshields tomorrow morning for your Friday workday. And here's what the rest of the week has in store for us. Friday, 55 degrees, lows in the mid-40s. On Saturday, again, 55 degrees is the high. A little cooler in the evening, a low of 36, than Sunday. Highs in the upper 50s, lows in the lower 40s. On Monday, we see temperatures drop as that low-pressure system moves into our area. 45 degrees is a high, and then on Tuesday, only 35 is a high, 20 is a low. Make sure to bundle up on Tuesday. It's going to be cold. And that's your weather for TV5. I'm Chris Portman. Back to you. Thanks, Chris. Stay with us. TV5 News Live has more to come. When we return, Bill Reinhardt will join us with the TV5 News Sports Report. But first, here's a look at how local stocks fared on Wall Street today. than you. You can't hold us back. Violet, we know what it takes to blow past you. And violence, we're just getting going. On September 11th, America faced terrorist attacks of the worst kind. Innocent lives were lost, and a sad cloud was cast over this great nation. These acts were intended to cause fear among all Americans, including our children. But we cannot let that happen. There are things we can do to help our kids. Talk with them. Listen to them. Tell them they're safe and that they're loved. God bless you, and God bless America. Cellular One has plans to fit the way you talk for all the who's, when's, why's, and where's. There's a plan that's right for you. This or one of these great phones. Plus, get a free line of phone service, unlimited some weekends, free long distance, and free voice activated dialing. However, you talk, Cellular One plans to fit the way you talk. In the game of life, you've got a much better chance at getting picked for a cool job with great pay if you take algebra, geometry, and calculus. You need to know how math can improve your future. Demand it. Call NACME. We'll tell you. Now with a TV5 sports report. And a Pittsburgh Penguin has rebounded from his injury rather quickly. Right, Bill? Penguin fans have felt like deja vu last night. After his first hat trick on his first game back, Alexei Kovalev puts a second hat trick up on his second game back. Despite Kovalev's valiant effort, the Penguins fell short of the Islanders 6-3. And Barry Bonds announced Wednesday on KNBR Radio that the FBI warned him of threats on his life just before the September 11th bombings.
FBI and stuff knocked on my door in the hotel. Um, this was before um, the terrorist act, and then this is like the same around the same time, and said, Barry, we have to tell you something. And then when they told me, I, I was like, you got to be kidding me. You know, it was just scary at first because I didn't really start hitting them again because I was more nervous. So it's like, you know, we get shot out here. Wow. You know, and I'm thinking, you know, did I tell my mom, my lover, did I tell my dad? You know what I mean? All these little scary thoughts were going through my mind. And then I just thought, you know, if, if, if this is what's going to happen to me in my life and this is how it's going to go, then you know what? I, I went doing something I love. Nobody understands that. what you actually feel in your heart, how scared you are, just to think. I mean, even though you try to blend it off, I mean, in the back of my mind, I was like, wait a minute, it, it's just a game. Will the Winston Cup race bring on added tension for a family this year? Well, it might at the Wallace home. Brothers Mike, Ken, and Rusty will be all shooting for a qualifying spot for the upcoming race. Here's Mike Fisher with the NASCAR Minutes. The Wallace brothers have been on quite a ride at the end of the 2001 season. Kenny Wallace has done a fine job filling in for Steve Park in the one car. Brother Mike was second at Phoenix after taking over the 12 car from Jeremy Mayfield. Older brother Rusty is one Wallace who always has had success at the Winston Cup level, but that doesn't bother the brothers. But Rusty's our brother. We admire him a lot. I mean, he's a Winston Cup champion. He's won 50-something Winston Cup races. We're always going to be in his shadow, but you know what? That's fine. At least we have an opportunity to run well, to run competitive with Rusty. That's the one thing Kenny and I have always wanted is just the opportunity to be able to race with him. Well, I'm really happy for Mike and Kenny. Really happy for both of them. Kenny's been qualifying good. Mike's been running good. Kenny's been running good. I just hope the best for both of them for next year. You know, the ultimate goal is to see a 1-2-3 Wallace finish somewhere someday. Both Kenny and Mike are still not assured of a cup ride for the 2002 season. Both hope to have plans finalized in the next 10 days. With an NASCAR Minute, I'm Jeff Fischel. That's all the Thursday Sports Report. I'm Bill Reinhart. Now back over to Susan and Carrie. Thanks, Bill. We have a programming note for you at home. TV5 will not be broadcasting next week. Instead, TV5 personnel will be preparing to celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday. TV5's very own Josh Alderton went about the TV5 newsroom to discover the many ways our TV5 family will be give thanks this year. This time, those of you who are not too gorged to move will probably be picking up the remote to watch football or some such thing. We here at TV5 News have prepared a little package telling you what our behind-the-scenes crew is doing over break. I'm Enjoy. going home, getting some homework done, and then I'm going to go to Johnstown with my aunt and enjoy a good Thanksgiving with my family. I'm going to go visit my aunt in Erie, and um, we'll probably do some Christmas shopping, and hopefully stores won't be too busy. Well, we were going to go home, but we decided to go home with TV5's very own Mark Dessitakis. Word on the street is his mom makes some fat mashed potatoes. Good time. Good time. I am working at Walmart Thanksgiving Day. Well, I'll be here in Clarion with my spending time with my family family and having uh, lots of turkey. Nessie the Dancing Turtle, do you have any comment? Josh Alderton, TV5 News. Thanks Josh. That is all for this edition of TV5 News Live. Don't forget our next broadcast will be on Tuesday, November 27th when Kelly Esno and Courtney Mains will join you with Clarion very own TV5 News live at 8. Until then, I'm Carrie LaPoo. And I'm Susan Onrad. For everyone here at TV5, have a good night and also have a happy Thanksgiving.